How's it going everyone? Tim here, Tier Day Adventures. As always, hope everyone's all well out there and thanks everyone for tuning in. As always, much appreciated. So, um, today we're going to talk and install the new Three Brothers RC Axis 10 motors. Uh, if you watched the live stream last Friday, uh, we installed the 3300 kV Axis 10 in the 22 Wraith. Uh, today we're going to be installing the 2500 kV in the 19 Wraith. Now, both of these, 1.9 Wraith and the 2.2 Wraith, these are my TTC trucks. So, definitely want a reliable motor and a powerful motor. Uh, I was running previously an 1800 kV Fusion in the 2.2 Wraith, and we bumped that all the way up to a 3300, um, just for that raw power factor in certain TTC events, and we'll cover all those in some upcoming episodes. Also, on this one, we're going to be bumping up from a Castle Slate 2250 kV motor to the 2500. Now you saw in the running video I posted this last week, um, any of the shots that was showing the 2.2 Wraith that had the 3300 kV Axis 10 installed on it, and it is geared high right now. We could see that I still had plenty of low speed control, and then at any point the ability to hit the throttle and those front wheels come off the ground. We actually broke a locker um, in the 2.2 Wraith front locker with the new motor right off the bat. Uh, so I've got that fixed. 10 pole motor. Uh, this is the 2500 kV. There's also a 1600 kV and like I mentioned the 3300 kV option. The uh, 1600 kV is 6S capable. The 2500 kV right here is a 4S capable motor and the 3300 is 3S capable. And this is a short can style design and we'll just do a quick little size comparison here. It is just a little bit shorter can than a castle slate motor there which is always nice for some fitment stuff like this and especially with some ford motor mounts um, i still want to pick up maybe another 2500 or a 1600 kv and um, get it to fit in one of my comp rigs there where space is a little tight but overall my first thoughts taking it out super super awesome we're gonna get it installed here real quick and then do a little get everything programmed a little bench testing and then we'll go hit some rocks
So there we have it, a little bit of running video of both the 2500 kV and the 3300 kV motor options uh, for the Axis 10 motor. Uh, like I said, in the, earlier in the video, there is a 1600 kV option as well, and I do plan to get my hands on one of those um, at some point. I just know these are the two kVs that I really wanted to get my hands on first. Now, both of these motors, super, super smooth, and both of them, I don't think I mentioned in the beginning, but these are sensorless. These are not sensored motors, and they were still that running video showing still that smooth. Now the 22 Wraith running the 3300 kV, yes, you did see some roll there because I do have it geared high right now. But overall, I'm really, really liking it even as geared as high as it is right now. And for what I truly, truly use that truck for, during some of those TTC events, I do tend to turn my drag brake down or almost off. So it's not really a huge deal. I don't think it's gonna hinder me overall in performance as for as far as that one being a technical crawler because it. It can crawl, yes, it is very capable, but it is not a, not my technical crawler. One nine wraith, I do plan on doing. I might go up just a few more teeth on it, just to experiment, play around, you know, find that sweet spot, see what I'm like with, because I did go up significantly um, in KVs in both motors in both vehicles. So again, just a little bit to play with here and there. Overall, I am absolutely loving these motors. So smooth, down low, and controllable. Um, drag brake on the 1.9 Wraith, spot on, holding very good, very strong, helped out really, really nice on some descents and some inclines. So really think I'm almost at my sweet spot there. Like I said, I might just experiment just a little bit there with the pinion, but nothing too crazy. And both those motors, I, these are gonna be perfect candidates for both the 1.9 Wraith and the 2.2 Wraith um, for what I'm gonna use them for, stuff like that. Um, like I said, we will, get some more videos on that i'll probably drop a running video from the rest of the footage i went out and shot today just overall video of just them two getting out and having a good old time and this friday barring shipping and everything still stays on schedule um arriving will be our kratos 10 motor i got the 1950 kv option to start with um i think i still want to grab the 2750 um, at some point in the near future here and that is going to go in the Phoenix. We are going to swap out those electronics there. And we have a few other goodies for the Phoenix as well. So maybe Friday night live stream, if that gets here in time, maybe we'll be doing a little bit of that. Overall, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel down below as always. And plenty more to come. Um, so we still have plenty of goodies coming in. We got lots of winter projects ready to rock and roll. So in the meantime, as always, hope everyone has a great one and crawl on.